What's going on, y'all? This Greg with Greg Said It. Another edition of the Sunday Inspirational Motivational Sunday. And man, I'm still recovering from that guy. I can't lie to you on Friday. It's been a been a tiresome all the way around, mental everything. Sarah flew by. And I'm glad I, I didn't have to do my live today. I did it yesterday, got that out of the way. And man, it's been it's been something, man. I didn't watch no game. This this I just didn't feel like watching no games about tire and everything. Didn't want to watch any game, but I see. Utah got thumped by Arizona. Got thumped pretty good. Like like 42 18, something like that. They jumped out on jumped out on them like Washington State jumped out on CU. And um man, you can say a lot. I see uh, Air, um was it Oregon State played uh, was it Oregon State played Washington pretty pretty close? So I mean, if you really look at it, CU has had every opportunity. And um, we can say a lot of things. We don't pretty much say it at all and some about what could have been done and what should have been done. And you had to won certain games. Because like I said, I said it early in the season, the Pac-12 was going to self-devour each other. And Washington has hung on by the the, the strings of the chin and chin and chin, you know, they play some close games, but they maintain the undefeated. And um, I didn't look and see what Oregon did, but pretty much everybody else has beat each other. Arizona's on the run. Can't say that. They're not. They messed around and lost to USC, so that put them in a bad spot. And um, having, a, having you know, two losses in the conference is just going to be tough. So they're like maybe Washington and Oregon is going to see each other again. Pretty much. But I guess the theme of this message today is what a lot of people have been talking about. And it is fitting for the end of the school, for the end of the say school year, end of the year for the season. Because I don't really know what the season, off season going to look like. I know the off season was very exciting because nobody knew what to expect. And the anticipation was very strong. I know it's going to be some anticipation for next season because of the promises. But frankly, a lot of people feelings hurt. I thought people were joking when they said that it's a new breed of hater. It's, it's the form of I believe. It's the people who used to believe and they believe got hurt so bad now they hate the buffs. And I had a chance to see it. I thought it was a joke. And, you know, it's like we got a new breed of hater and we got a new breed of, you know, I guess fan. You know, we all we had last year this time was the bandwagon fan. Then we got the fan. I don't want to hear them. You will see no evil now. He, you know, they go on attack mode too. And it's just one of those things where it's going to be an interesting off season one way or another. I don't know if the excitement could ever match last year. And I'm, some people just going to have, have an attitude. They're just going to be like, ah, I'm tired of hearing it. Uh, keep keep promising because it's been a lot of promises this year. We're going to do better. Going to get better. Everybody can't take that, especially depending on their personal life and what they've been through. You know, some people can't take being lied to because their mom and dad lied to them growing up. Uh, they had a spouse. And you just hit these trigger points where people just can't handle being let down. And let's be real. See, you let some people down from the standpoint of what was promised. You know, win right now, be dominant. And that was presented by Coach Prime. And he should have. I mean, what else will say? Lose right now? But we can't deny the impact that has on people. We can't deny the fact that some people just couldn't handle that. And me saying that, my thing would be patience. Probably not patience in how we would ordinarily say it, but just patience in general. Patience with the team, patience with the process. But just patience to let things play out. Patience before you jump to predict something that you can't really predict. Patience before you 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 put out that what's gonna happen and you 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 left with the with the silly face when you know when it don't go like you say and you're embarrassed and then you're mad at the team. Patience. 
we all have the tendency to jump ahead of stuff sometimes. And you, you pay for it. You pay for it with shame. You know, and you're embarrassed. And you, you pay for it when you don't fully evaluate things in the way you should because you let emotions get in the way of logic. Or you just, some things you can't control. I can't control how see you play and the opportunities they miss. And that's what makes you mad. That's what makes people mad. Be real about it, you know. Some people really mad. Some people gamble. Some people just got their hopes up. I'm not too far to the left or right. I just like good football, and I, I hate that. You're going to lose, lose playing good football. Lose because team actually better than you. We're saying teams better than them. They're better than them because they made less mistakes. You can say they a better coach. But were they actually better roster, roster? I don't think CU lived up to that. So the patience would be to see. You know, will they flip a whole roster again? You know how people feel about that. They say, was well, it the coaches? Was well, it the players? Well, is it this? Is it that? Is it going to be a repeat? Is it going to be worse? You're going to have to wait and see. Your patience is going to have to wait and see for a whole nother season. This season has come, man, and it's gone. It's amazing. It's amazing. That's another form of patience. Don't rush stuff, man. Just let it play out. Find something else to do. A lot of people put so much energy in sports, especially the people who are real sports fans. And they they put so much emotion in sports. And like It's like you're hiding from certain stuff. Or you, you don't want to be too deep, but it's like it gives you an outlet. And sometimes it's just so emotional and so it can be negative. But it's like it's an outlet from what you really want to deal with. And some people do even jump from sport to sport, team to team. I'm really not that. You know, I have some stuff going on. Maybe y'all hear about some of it that I'm trying to get done. And it's not that deep to me. I'm, I'm not a super sports geek. I'm not a super football geek. I played it. I like the strategic component about it. I like I like good football. And part of the reason why I don't watch a lot of football because I don't like bad football. I don't just watch football for the sake of it. And thanks to Colorado, it's more than football. Their football component gets on my nerves, you know, for lack of better words. But they offer a lot more. And the storyline, and we're going to see what this, we're going to really see what this this um, Coach Prime documentary looked like when uh, Amazon come out. Like, are they going to tell this real story? Everybody going to be watching. One thing for sure, he got everybody eyes. He, gonna, he definitely going to stir that momentum back up when he released that. Last year one was okay, the year before was, I think, probably a little better because that was more fresh. Last year, they kind of, I don't know, because he came to Colorado, it seemed like it was incomplete. It ended brief, it ended like suddenly, and it really didn't go into detail. So maybe a lot of the ending component, they'll put it in the beginning of this one. I don't know. But even with that, don't let your life get so caught up that you put so much energy and focus into something that it irritates you so bad that it make your real life, your regular life, just miserable or irritated. Don't add no more irritation to your life than you need. Don't give nothing too much weight that it impacts your, your life like that. That's what I would say. Because one, it's just a sport. And two, you can't do nothing about it. You can't go out there and make no plays, and you probably will mess up too. I don't know. You just don't get too deep with this. This season about to end. Yeah, we feel like they should have went to a bowl, but even that got to end at some point. I don't know what it's going to look like. I really don't. As far as content, overall, for people, you see uh, well-off energy has went down. They've been hit by a lot of negativity, and and they're losing this impact. I mean, you know, they get shorter. I don't know if the viewership is less. I mean, people change, man. Things change. Life change. You know, it's been a journey here with Greg said it. And I'm trying to see what the off season is going to look like. This will be my first off season with Greg said it. And is the energy going to be there? Is the morale going to be there? Is the excitement going to be there again? I don't know. Because I know a lot of people have just been turned off. Maybe some of them come back. Maybe some of them won't. 
But that's life, man. Everything we talking about is life. Act like it's not. Can't avoid it. Don't act like it's not. It's a it's it's just part of what they say, the process. Winning, losing, and the impact of it all. I mean, who's on such a high, 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 ooh, really high in the beginning of that season. Too high. It was just, oh, my goodness. And, you know, this extreme drop pulls a lot out of people. But you got to practice what you preach. You got to be patient. Let that thing come around. It may come around different next go around. They might do a lot of things different. I don't know. But it's going to be some difference. Good or bad, it's going to be different. And I'm hearing this. We're going to start hearing about it real soon. Who leaving, who coming. So be patient. I appreciate y'all coming through. Again, it's Greg said it. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. We're still going to be going. Y'all have a good one.